You have done what has not been done in centuries. All the parts of the orrery have been placed within the chamber, and Dereneth awaits us below. I must admit to being more than a little excited. I've never seen the orrery operational. Not much. You've done extraordinary work, and just in time for Queen Irene's arrival. Imagine the chance to see the orrery operate. Conservator Derenev is preparing Queen Irene as we speak. We should really head in there and get started. The ratification ceremony isn't going to perform itself after all. And from what I understand, Conservator Derenev wanted to speak with you personally. Queen Irene has finally arrived, just in time for the ratification ceremony to begin. I'm sure she will commend you for your efforts. I wonder if the Ori is worth all the fuss. I certainly hope the Queen isn't wasting her time. <laughs> and yours. The Orrery is of such importance to Elden Root. I've heard the story since I was a child, and always wondered what would happen should it be restored. I suppose I'll learn very soon. Preposterous. I'm an old Mary Vicereve. An assistant to Prince Naaman himself. Why am I barred from the ceremony? The orrery hasn't been activated in a millennia. It might work splendidly, yes. Or it might explode. But I'll speak with Darinet if you insist on being present. I... Upon consideration, I suppose I could wait by the door. To call for help, should anything go wrong. There won't be much to see, I'm sure. The Aeliads were notorious for their glowing crystals, so I suppose there will be more than a few bright lights. Sounds quite dreary. I can't imagine it will be worth your time at all. I must thank you for the opportunity to see the Orrery operate as it did in ancient times. It's all so exciting! Greetings. Little brother, you shouldn't be here for this. Dareneth warned us of the dangers. I won't turn my back on family. My place is in your shadow, as it has always been. I know this can't be easy for you. On the contrary, today the Dominion shall see why a High Elf is fit to lead all of Tamriel. I used to despise your certainty, but today it's reassuring. Apology accepted. I'll make sure everyone clears out, as you requested. But you don't need to be here, Your Highness. I used to sneak in here as a child and climb through the orrery's rungs. Do you think I'd pass up on the chance to see what it actually does? But have no fear. I want you at the outer door. Thank you, Your Majesty. I won't let you down. You never do. The Orrery has done nothing but spin for generations. To think, I'll be the king who sees it work again. Strange to see you after South Point. Not bad, just strange. But no matter. I can hardly believe we're about to breathe some life into this old girl. And before you ask, yes, I'm speaking of the Orrery. Almost. You recovered the pieces needed for the Orrery's activation, so it's only fair you're here to put them in place. So, I should be the one to ask. Are you ready? Good. The first thing you'll need is to take up Rachin's mantle. A god's hands move the Orrery, goes the translation. But 
That's a load of boar slop. You simply need to be in three places at once. Rachin's mantle should allow for that. Oh, you'll be all right. That overly earnest fellow from the Mage's Guild. Braylor, was it? He assured me you'd be safe if you wore it for no longer than 90 minutes. Or was it nine? No matter. The ceremony will take five minutes. Maybe six. Approach the pillars beyond the orrery itself. You must activate each in turn while keeping one thought in mind. When you wear Rachin's mantle, you'll never be held in place. From what I understand, it should do the rest. So this pile of moss and rubble determines the next emperor? The orrery is ancient. Show some respect. It's magnificent. Prince Naaman says you're to thank for ensuring the ratification ceremony will happen without delay. An Aeliad artifact supposedly touched by the gods will proclaim my sister worthy of becoming the Empress of Tamriel. But this changes little. There are those who will always question her right to rule. How exciting! The Orrery has done nothing but spin for generations. To think, I'll be the king who sees it work again. Well, the Orrery won't start itself. Good thing, too, I'd be out of a job. It's working! It's actually working! Here, take hold of the heart of a numeral. Place it in the pillar next to our royal observers. That should do it! Awaken the orrery, whatever that truly means. But have no fear. This contrivance allows me to manipulate its energies. This means I can keep Queen Irene safe when she steps inside. Now go! Place the heart of a numeral. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Leave me be. This is much more complicated than it looks. This is wonderful. After all these years, it's going to work. I know it. Fascinating. And a bit intimidating. But I suppose you could say that about much of alien construction. It has its own archaic charm, I'll admit. And now the alien death trap will tell us if we have an emperor in our midst. Truly, a momentous day! Naaman, now is not the time. I ran. There's always time to protect you from yourself. For how could I let you risk your life in this contraption without testing it first, dear sister? When you wear Rachin's mantle, you'll never be held in place. It's incredible! I can see the white gold tower! No! What's happening to me? Ah! No! You tricked me, sister! It's your fault! No, 
I'm all right. You saved Queen Irene's life by killing her brother. You should probably speak with her on the matter. Prince Naaman knew the dangers. What hubris to do such a thing? Why? What? No, I... Why would Naaman do this? I made him a part of what we were building. Tried to show him this is about more than just our people. I would have all of Tamriel be our people. What the legend says. It revealed the person within. As it will do to me. Do you think I have a choice in this? I will enter the orrery as I swore to the people of the Old Mary Dominion. I must learn whether I'm fit to lead them. And if I'm not... If I'm changed, as my brother was... I can't become a danger to the people I've sworn to lead. Do you understand me? Myself, aren't I? A dominion of peace. The fair and just rule of Tamriel, beneath an old Mary banner. A future I hope to build. And you, standing at my side. Come, help me build the future. I don't intend to tell anyone what my brother did. As far as I'm concerned, he died trying to help me not usurp my throne. The Staff of Magnus. A powerful object with the ability to suppress magic. Dangerous were it to fall into the wrong hands. Luckily, we already possess it. Go to Marbrook in Eastern Greenshade. Speak to Captain Sarandil about securing the Staff. I'll follow soon after. We heard sounds of battle. What happened? There was an accident. My brother gave his life to protect us. He died a hero. I... I don't... I will soon go to Marbrook. Vice Reeve Peladil, I want you to travel ahead with my brother's body. You will make the funeral arrangements. Yes. Yes, your majesty. I understand. Spare no expense for his funeral. All in the Dominion are welcome. All may pay their respects to a hero. At once, Majesty. What happened to Prince Naaman was a tragedy. I hope that sounds believable. I'll be saying it for the rest of my days. I had my doubts about Queen Irene. Not after today. Travel well, my friend. Is this really happening? I don't know what you mean. I don't want to think of the outcome had you not been here. You kept the king safe. You will always be welcome among the Vine Dusk Rangers. Do all you Vine Dusk Rangers learn to ignore the truth? We learn that leadership is messy. And because royalty must grieve in public, we learn not to judge. Perhaps you're right. This wasn't supposed to happen here. Today should have been a celebration, but instead... Instead, none of this officially happened. 